Hello and welcome to PubitUpers.com's view from a sports fan's perspective. Today I want to kick it off with the return of Pierre Marc Bouchard to the Minnesota Wild NHL hockey team. Now that is normally not something that I would normally get into, especially not uh, that I'm a big hockey fan or anything, but in this particular case, Bouchard played in the Wild season opener last season and has missed every game since then due to post-concussion syndrome. Now, that's where this is leading me to. We've had the over and over heard so much about the concussions and how the NFL is cracking down on uh, the hits and things to try to prevent players from being injured and also with the uh, sideline things that are going on and making sure that players are, are not still concussed, if that's a word, um, which it is, uh, and being sent back into games when they're not really prepared or should not be going back in there. And so in this case you look at a player like Pierre Marc Bouchard who has not been able to play for the last season and you say, well the NHL is taking this seriously. It's not just the NHL though. In this particular case, Bouchard did have uh, the symptoms that he just could not uh, go in there, couldn't practice, couldn't do anything. I mean, the headaches, the things that go along with concussions are very serious and usually uh, it's not like a player is trying to avoid. I mean, there are players who want to play and will, are willing to take that risk, but now with the uh, information that has been put out there about concussions, in this particular case, he's not, hasn't been able to get back in. So now, um, there are simple uh, ways to judge whether a player has or has not had a concussion, and there's actually two different uh, versions at this point of whether a player, uh, how serious the concussion is, I, I should say. One is considered a simple concussion, the second one is considered a complex co concussion. Um, now, the great news is there's players, especially in the NA, uh, NFL, uh, like Hunter Hillenmeyer of the Chicago Bears. We also have the center for the Baltimore Ravens, Matt Burke, uh, former Dolphin, Zach Thomas, and also uh, Seattle Seahawk, Lofi Tutupu, who are all uh, have said that they will donate their brains to research and in the future to see exactly what is going on in sports and is there any way that these things can be diagnosed and prevented in the future. So I believe that the direction that is being taken here by all sports and it really has to start all the way back down at youth sports all the way up because even in the complex th deal there's a lot of kids playing sports According to the Centers for Disease Control, they say that over, or right at 3.8 million concussions happen in sports and recreational activities every year. So that number is huge and it's very a very serious issue and we, something that really needs to be uh, addressed uh, all across the sports uh, world and all across the board from youth all the way up to the professional. I'm going to start today's fast track with the Miami Hurricanes. I'm not exactly happy with the fact that they fired Randy Shannon over the weekend. Um, if Miami was to look at things, I understand that they haven't won an ACC uh, title. They haven't won a bowl game. They've lost 22 games in the last four years. But since Randy Shannon came there, he's cleaned up the, the program. They had a lot of issues. They had players, even they got a player that got killed. So therefore, I believe that, you know, sometimes there's more important things than just winning games. The 2010 ACC Big Ten Challenge kicked off Monday night and continues tonight with five games on the slate, with the marquee matchup being Michigan State and Duke. Tommy Izzo and Coach K, I talked about how great that game should be yesterday in my blog, but I also would like to mention that I love the conference versus conference duels. The Big Ten won last year for the first time in 11 attempts against the ACC and I would like to see more of this take place even on the football side of things. 
And tomorrow night, let me be the first to get on the bandwagon and start hyping tomorrow night's game between the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James has returned to Cleveland. You know the Cleveland fans are going to come down on him. The Heat aren't playing all that well. This may be the time that they can put their act together, play a strong game because it's going to be a playoff atmosphere or... We may actually see the Heat under pressure, and what they, you know, haven't been able to do is actually win games when they face those big challenges. Today's sports investing game of the day is the Indiana Pacers and the Utah Jazz. Today's pick, the Indiana Pacers, plus 320. Should be a very good payoff there. We have Las Vegas who has a 320 odds. Our stat base money line has it at 192. That there leads me to believe that there is a 66% markup on the Vegas money line which is where your profit is at. By catching them putting games up you're actually looking at a 44% return on investment on games similar to this throughout the season. And thank you for joining Pub It Up with views from a sports fan's perspective. I'll be back again tomorrow. We'll have more picks. We'll have more information and topics from the sports world. Tell your friends, your family, and yourself. Make sure you're here tomorrow. Thank you.